I am uh, A1C Rivera. Staff Sergeant Clifton L. Boyle. I'm Technical Sergeant Torres, first name Jesse. I'm Staff Sergeant Anthony Baker. It is a common known Air Force tradition to have your mustache shape or growing in March. Well, I mean, it's a way I can grow a mustache and compare my mustache to others, except for maybe the female. It's, uh, it, all, it all depends, you know, from a creeper to to uh, pretty much, a, you know, a BA. <laughs> Some kind of look like a little bit of a, a broomstick or a broom, and then others look like a rake. So it's just like not much on there. and Something that I've done for the past two years. It's always a fun uh, event to partake in. Are, are you jealous that you, you're a female and can't grow a mustache? Oh, I am, a little bit. There was a major who was a pilot who, it started during Vietnam from a colonel. There was a flying, but that's about all <laughs> that I really know. It was uh, Robin Olds. He was a uh, F-4 pilot. I think he was a commander for the forces going up to uh, Vietnam. He basically, you know, he became legend because uh, I believe he had to go back and report to LBJ. He just grew his mustache out and it, the troops liked it, so he kept it. And then finally, I think a general made him stop with the mustache. We'll grow a mustache, kind of get enthusiastic, and, you know, builds also that camaraderie within the unit and kind of pass on that tradition, you know, as far as mustaches. In the gym during, uh, during March, I really hit the weights pretty hard, and I found that the, uh, that the mustache actually adds about 25 pounds to the bench.